back to Bonnie Revised like Afterbirth, and in this episode we're going to be playing as Judas. Not my favorite character, but in terms of damage, he's pretty damn good, since that we have the Book of Belial, which I'll be using shortly with the Bomberman Man ripoff guy. And, um, of course, it's going to be really tough to fight him, which took literally like five seconds to, fight, to kill him. Anyways, since we don't have a key, Pretty we're gonna go ahead and move fly. on. We got shielded tears. It's been a while since I've We're gonna be finding Book of Flash. It's really good. I finally got my Book of Belial recharged. And I can finally do a lot of damage. It's really awesome. By the way, I really like shielded tears. And the more damage, it would be way awesome because I can basically bypass every single thing whatsoever without having to worry about anything. And we got, we did get damage up in some shot speed. And now we got money equals power. This is the second time we got this in this whole series, I guess. The more money we get, the more power we have. And yes, we're gonna be finding this freaking guy that was forgetting his name because I don't even care about this name. Anyways, he's gonna die soon because he, I think he may basically um, just explode himself like he usually does. Well, he did not. I basically my own bear. And we got experimental treatment. Not my favorite thing, but if I were to get it. Why the hell not, man? And we're, wow, crap is a second freaking early game. Oh, the second floor, and then now we get conscious already. Seems that we can't even bypass the laser, but we can bypass these freaking, you know, red, red cloths of shooting whatever. Anyways, moving on to the next level, we are going to be finding what it turns to be a freaking onion. Tears up. That's pretty much okay. Whatever. Okay, we're gonna be fighting this freaking. I don't know. The skull thing that just keeps coming up on the floor. I don't. I don't care about the names. I just want to kill them because in the end, it doesn't really matter. They just. They're just born to die. Basically, to die by my hands. To be more specific. As you can see, that actually happened. And now we get the Mario all stats up. Pretty damn good. Next level. What do we have here? What is this? Intensifying tears. Okay, so that's good. And now we're finding Gertie. Wow, oh, Gertie. I don't have to worry about it. I just have to stay still and just not worry about any freaking thing. Just gonna shoot in one direction and that's pretty much it. Okay, let's go. Oh, we got a, we got a devil room. Huh. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got Guppy's hairball. We got Guppy's lives. Nine lives. And we get to swing it. Well, of course, I'm not, gonna get it. I'm not gonna get the nine lives because I already have so little health anyways. It doesn't even matter what's gonna happen. Oh, we got super pride here. And I don't know why I paused there. I guess someone was talking to me. Well, good thing I didn't even get the nine lives because, you know, I, would, I already got one here for free. And we got some fade up. So a little bit more, we're gonna become... Uh, Oh, we got wings <laughs> anyway, so that's But if I get another freaking guppy item, I will be guppy. Despite the fact that I have wings. I got it I got it from the horse item, I think it's called. Okay, that's a lot of coins, so the more damage we have, of course. Evil up. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, this is really cool. Oh, we got the, the mass of, of bullshit. We basically have to... We have to aim for it at the back of his head, which is really hard because he always turns up. He always turns around to where where we're facing him, basically. And I don't really like his enemy that much. This this boss fight, it's really annoying, and especially, well, as Azazel is not really a big deal because you can just basically bypass the whole mask and you just you know just hit the whole damn thing. Come on, let's try to kill this thing, you know? Yeah, be scared. There you go. Finally, get some rotten, uh, rotten meat. I mean. I already got all the items, so might as well just move on. And I got horns and wings. I'm basically a bomb. I got some bob hurts or bob I don't know. Whatever the bomb is. Right. And I got Gangbang right there. He's not that good. But it seems like this boss is going to be pretty easy. Right. Yes, I just have to stand in one particular place. And that is basically not really so I got the negative. Can you guys guess why I got the negative? There must be something about a negative. This is new. Last time we got the, 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 the positive polaroid. If I were to call it that way. And now we got Guppy. Yeah, even though we already have flight. I, I took it anyway because it seemed cool. I thought I would be Guppy. And uh, 
since I got the pie bone in one shot. Huh? Now we move to the next level. We went to Shaw and now we're fighting the devil, the devil himself. Shaw. Which literally not that long. Quite a straight. Even knowing that these two assholes just fought right in front of my face. And now it's your turn to fight. Even though I have like four hearts up, I still had ten lives. Yep, it's, it's, it's that easy. It's really that easy. Okay, let's move on to the chess part of the freaking level, or you want to call it. Not the chess part, actually. More like the unknown. And we right went to the freaking land fight because, you know, it's just it's basically the same. Everything looks the same except that we will be beating the boss just like what we will do in the chess. And this boss is so damn easy that nothing is wrong whatsoever. Or maybe it's just because of my build. That's it for this episode of Bonding of Isaac, and yes, we have literally a few more left to go through. It will be really great, it will be really awesome that we finally get to finish this game from ending 1 to the last ending, which I believe is ending 17. I don't know. But anyways, thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.